Okay, so we took this conceptual image and then we made musical scores out of it over here, composing in truth beyond words. Then we made an image to go with it here, and then we created an animation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Truth Beyond Words, Episode 4, A Certain Balance. We entered by reflecting that words delightfully challenge us in composing beyond words. And we recapped at the end of today by looking at the last four days, we deliberately pushed ourselves to stream and highlight each day. This is day four. We had a chance to look at idea generation and realization anew. And as we just showed you, we went from an image to a score to an animation. And then we went and did another cycle, went from an image to an animation, and then from that made a score. So all in all, we created and posted four compositions. So what we're going to do to uh, bring us home here is show you, show you the most recent animation here. So what we like about this is, as we said, we, we started with that animation and then we had to create a score to go with it. And that score looks like this. Actually, you can't, you can't see what it looks like because we showed you the wrong thing. Let's go back to here. Here it is. So you can see it's just one note with two staves and we had a pattern of strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. That was what we were representing with, uh, our, with our ears. And there it is, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. So we call this delightful. It's not just trying to put think well. When we say composing in truth beyond words, we're really talking at the moment about vision and sound and somehow using words to cross connect them because it's like hard not to do that. Uh, but when you try to go back and say, what did we do with vision and sound, then it kind of, it trips us up. And that's the delightful challenge. Can we get better at using words, our words, uh, by going back and forth between image and sound? Can we get better at image? Can we get better at, at sound? And I can't show you sound. I can play you sound. Um, and, and we've noticed in other work, when we're trying to communicate with other people, we we would like to be able to, in addition to our voice using words, we'd like to use our voice to use sound, like da 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 And the trick with sound is that it you have to take a certain amount of seconds to hear how the sound varies, which is that, and with images, we think, well, I can see it right away. But the truth is we don't, we do, we also scan images, saccade, blah, blah, da, 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 da. 
So there's something really fascinating about um, uh, sound and image are both scanned by our senses, however, on different time scales. And words have a time scale too. So see a new. Do you realize that that's not a GNU new, emergent, etc.? Anyway, our ideas for next time are to be determined. So thank you for hanging out with us. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming. <laughs>